Hello everyone, thanks again for tuning in for yet another digital art lesson. This week I'm very excited to talk with you all about Lunar New Year, and we're going to specifically talk about these spring flowers behind me and what they symbolize and what they mean in the celebration of Lunar New Year. But before we do that, let's talk about what we're going to need for today's project. All right, let's take a look at my example first because that'll give you an idea of what materials you may want to use for today's lesson. Now for the vase, that we will be drawing today, you may want to go ahead and use some white paper, maybe the paper in your sketchbook if you'd like. And then what you could do if you'd like to, like what I chose to do, is I cut out my vase and I glued it on a darker paper, maybe brown. Some of my students have even used black. And what that does is it allows you to put these very bright colored blossoms on your paper and they will show up a little better on darker color paper than they would on white paper. However, if you want to do pink blossoms today for your flower arrangement, like my daughter Sophia did, you can do it all on one sheet of paper if you would like to. That is totally up to you. So today you will need a pencil to sketch out your ideas. You will need a sketchbook or something to work on. And then if you would like to, glue it on to something else. You could use a brown paper bag. Here's another example that I have where I use a brown paper bag as my surface to glue my vase onto. And that made these white blossoms pop because of that brown paper bag. So you could use something like that to glue your vase onto if you want to go that route today. Let's talk about Lunar New Year a little bit before we get started. So like many holidays, Lunar New Year is celebrated with lots of family coming together and eating lots of food and exchanging gifts and also having lots of sweets. Those are just some of the few things that happen during the many Lunar New Year celebrations. And Lunar New Year is celebrated all around the world. And today we're going to talk about specifically how it's celebrated in China. Now, these blossoms behind me, they're called plum blossoms. And they have a different meaning, or they have a specific meaning when it comes to celebrating the new year. Now in this book here, it says that arrangements of spring flowers are always shown at this time of year, meaning the new year. And here is a picture of her arranging something very similar to what I have behind me here. It says, and they too have a special significance. The plum blossom symbolizes longevity and courage. So like many things in the celebration of Lunar New Year, they have a symbol or a meaning behind them. Like wearing the color red or gold is a symbol of good luck. Also, the bamboo that I have behind me here is also a symbol of good luck. The other thing that I learned when I was doing research for this lesson is that every year there is a different zodiac animal. This year is the year of the ox, which I have here this red ox here on my billboard. And I also chose to do an ox on one of my vases. So there are actually 12 different zodiac animals. This is the year of the ox. Next year is gonna be the year of the tiger. And here is just a little preview of the different zodiac animals. So I am very excited I'm already starting to think about my Year of the Tiger project for next year. But for now, let's stick to the Year of the Ox and let's talk about what we are going to do and what we're going to use as our source of inspiration today to create our Plum Blossom Lunar New Year inspired project. So let me first start off by saying there are lots of different shapes and styles of vases out there. The ones that I've printed out here are the ones that were very popular and they date back all the way back to the Ming Dynasty in China. And they were very, very valuable and very decorative and very ornate and very beautifully decorated. Now, you'll notice that a lot of them are blue and white. That was the traditional colors that they used for their vases and their ceramics was blue and white. So in my examples today, they were all blue and white. Now I don't usually like to tell you which colors to use, 
I will say that there are lots of different shades of blue that you could use in your vase if you did like to make it an authentic Ming Dynasty vase. The other thing is that when you get to your plum blossoms, you could do those a couple different colors if you'd like to. Pink is a very popular color as well as white, and there's also beautiful little hints of green in there as well. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So as I was saying about the shape of a vase, there's lots of different shapes of vases out there, everyone. So you can draw any shape that you would like for your vase. Look, I've done lots of different studies of different vases here that you can choose. So there is not a wrong shape. You can do any shape you'd like. And you can even put little handles on it if you'd like to go that way too. So after you have the shape of the vase that you would like to do, and you could even make a couple different shapes of vases before you choose which one you would like to do, you're gonna go ahead and start to think what you want to decorate your vase with. What do you want to design on the outside of your vase? Now you could do the year of the ox, since that is this year, the symbol of 2021, the year of the ox, or you could do any sort of animal that you like. It doesn't have to be a zodiac animal if you don't like to. Some of my students have been doing the year that they were born in. So if you were born in the year of the snake or the year of the tiger, they were doing that, which was very fun. Or you could just decorate it with flowers and different patterns if you'd like to. This one, I use different flowers, chose to do the lotus flower, which is very, very popular in not only the Lunar New Year celebration, but in lots of celebrations all over the world. It's a very beautiful flower. So you could choose to do a lotus flower and you could do whatever sort of pattern that you would like to. Okay, everyone, well, I hope you all had fun learning about Lunar New Year with me today and drawing your Lunar New Year inspired artwork today. Please remember not to get stressed out when you are drawing your vase or your artwork. There is not just one way to draw something. So your vase is going to look beautiful any way that you decide to create and draw it. I can't wait to see some of the artwork from today's lesson, and I will see you all next time.